Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to camp where we get to have some more awkward conversations between Marky Mark and the tadpoles. Uh, first things first, let's talk to Carlac because Will's waiting in the background for a hell of a weird conversation. Uh, but let's chat with, uh, let's chat with Carlac. I'll be honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. Yeah. Been a long time since someone it stuck is their cool. neck out for me like that. It is kind of cool. I mean, I made him do it, but it is kind of cool that you've been sort of welcomed in to our group like this. He's the good man, maybe the best of us. He must be relieved. He must be relieved. I don't know if he is. I hope so, but I don't know if he is. Gobsmacked, really. But grateful. Really grateful. I could learn a thing or two from a man like Aww. that. Aww. Hopefully we won't turn into mind flayers first. Are they gonna... Uh... Hopefully we won't turn into mind flayers first. What can I first. do you for? Let's chat. What's the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Bombs? Demons, on the other hand. Every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? I <laughs> love her. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> anyway, what are we talking about? <laughs> I love Carlac. Uh, I have a million questions, and I'm just going to run through them. Now that the paladins are out of your way, what's next for you? First things first, I need to get this yep. engine tuned up. Things powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the Hells. Can't be too hard to find an infernal mechanic around here, right? LOL. We'll find you one. Uh, how do you and Mizora know each other? We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice, me by force. Why does she want to in kill you? In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. But she favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. So she's acting on Zariel's orders, but he harbors a grudge too, a little bit of envy. Think she'll keep coming after you? I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride. I can see why you were keen to escape. <sighs> no kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. It had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. <laughs> yeah. You want a little bit more of a boring life than a stage show. At least I do. Let's change the subject. About our tadpole powers? Let's check in there. You really did it, huh? Not worried about adding more lithid into the mix? I did it once, well, but... What can I say? You look fine. Smell fine. Seem fine. And yet, you're more mind flayer than ever. I think I'm done adding more, though. Hope you don't expect me to follow your lead in this. It's your choice. Do they? I'm not sure either of us can say one way or the other. We don't know what the costs might be just yet. You're right. Three persuasion options here? Interesting. Game looks a little bugged. It's saying I say roll zero none. Think it through. There's a lot to be gained here. Uh, first ability check I've ever made against Carlac. That's interesting. I get a bonus. And I don't need it. 28 mm. persuasion. How do you do that? Always making sense when I least want you to. <sighs> it's my smile. It's my mustache. I'll keep an open mind, all right? I can promise that much. <laughs> now, are we done here? 
I think that's good for us. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, we're probably going to run around and talk to some different people today, but... Um, one day yeah. I'll catch a break. One day I'll catch a break. Stone bed. What is the stone bed doing? It's laying on the stone bed. Will, my man, we got to talk. Damn her straight back to the hells. What's going on Just with your... Uh, I did what was right. And Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Failed an Arcana save? You warned me about Raphael, but our... Pacted to Mazora. But you're practiced to Mizora? What a fraud. Um, you have some explaining to do? You have some explaining to do. I'll say what I can, but it won't be enough. It's Mizora who grants me the power to Will's conjure under armor and an cast NDA. Eldritch Blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, Every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. Uh, that is, that line is about explaining and sort of not retconning, but like, uh, justifying is the better word. Uh, before I was infected, I could call hell beasts. Will is a legendary hero, the blade of the frontiers. Why was he level one when we met him? Or level two, whatever because the Mind Flayer has, like, made him a weaker version of himself. Um, what are the terms of your pact? I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this. The moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. Proud it was of worth that the moment. Sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. Will saved someone with his with his decision. Will signed the pact, and in that saved someone because he's still proud of it. Karlak's all fire and fury. I pray to the triad it doesn't consume her. How's it feel to be a devil? It said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. That's very I feel cryptic. the weight of these horns on my head, curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck. Not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. But I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? Interesting. I love it when they make me do this. Uh, Prong's in interesting places, huh? Handsome devil, I see the blade of the frontiers. No more, no less. A fiend who's been touched by the hells. I don't know what to make of it. Honestly, I see the same person. The blade of the frontiers. <laughs> it's because you know the heart lurking under the horns. Others the won't. The people will see yep. a curiosity. Maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. Yeah. But I will slay their monsters. Keep them safe. And one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. I like that. Do you have a watch on? Wait, what did you just show me? Do you have a watch on? I was like inconsequential, but... You should get out of this pact. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. Yeah, I want to help you. But I don't have a clue where to start other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the Just only language devils racer. listen to. Play her games, play by the rules. It's the only language they listen to. Can we attack her? We can have all for it, but it won't so much as chip one of her nailed claws. She'll escape to the hells, and if we succeeded, my life would be taken in exchange. My contract okay. is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only She'll... way out is if I can out-bargain her. <clears throat> We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. We need to get to power. 
We need to be in the room where it happens. The room where it happens. The room where it happens. Uh, we can beat her if we put our worms together. We'll see if it's worth it. We might need the pact after all. I don't know what that means. We can beat her if we, if we put our worms together. We can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. Aw, Will and I are having a good talk. He's in a rough spot. <laughs> He's in a real rough spot. Hi, Lizel. Um. Oh, Shadow Hearts. Oh, hello. Karlak's temper is a sight to behold. She'll need to be careful. That rage will burn her right out. That's true. I was hoping you'd come to chat. What do you need? I was just going to talk with you a little bit. Uh, you and I, we share something special, I think. I want to talk about it. Very serious of you. But go ahead. I'm nervous. Uh, how are you faring? It's strange. I've been dwelling on what I told you before about wanting to become a Dark Justicia. But perhaps I should be content with my lot. I'm already blessed to have you at my side, after all. Hi, Shadowheart. God, I love her. God, I just love her so much. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go to bed. Put my hands on everything. Uh, let's get some sleep. All right, uh, back to. I feel so bad for him. Oh, I got to cast to speak with animals. Pet him, first off. Aww. Oh, I would die for you, Scratch. Pet him again. Let's do it again. Welcome to the rest of the episode. Aww. All right, let's cast Speak with Animals. Uh, Hope you're keeping well, friend. I'm sorry about what happened to your master. Master? Friend. I stayed with him until... Until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. Now I'm actually crying. Damn it. A good dog scratch. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get back to the Druid's Grove. Probably a little bit to do over here. Yep. Let's walk out in a weird way. This way. Um, we've been over here a little bit. So let's go down here. See where this takes us. Oh, that's that cave. Ah, this is the wrong way. Shit, I meant, um... Can we go across? Can we come over here? Go left or right? Let's go left.
Hello. What's going on here? You're a true soul. You can't die. Please stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Hmm. I'll go where I wish. Uh, his wounds look deep. I might be able to help. Let's offer help first. Uh, DC 10. Not a lot of help here. There we go. We're rolling great. We're rolling great right now. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do. I'm watching you. The injured sure, man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Uh, hold a stare. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. Oh, he's dead. He... Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Oh my god, these cultist Edwin, things. our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Uh, go and live your lives happily and forget the Absolute. Um... The beast is dead, you should be on your way. I'm not even going to fuck with any of this earlier stuff. Uh, explain the absolute to me, maybe? What? Are you... Yep, are it's you test. testing us? The absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. I knew that. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. <laughs> you don't need me to explain that. A it's interesting soul, because... Like you, has been chosen by the absolute. You speak with her voice. This would and have when been. the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. I don't serve and I don't rule. With or without Tadpole. Weird camera. Uh, this would have been really interesting to discover before the cave or before the whole goblin camp. Um, the beast is dead. Be on your way. Really? You killed that thing? Yep. May the absolute continue to guide your hand, sir. As for us, we won't take any more of your time. I don't want them to go May try the and absolute guide us. Avenge it, you know. I uh spoke of the absolute. Same as that goblin, Sazon. Curious. Go and loot Edwin's body. Looks like the absolute's drawing all sorts to become followers. New mind flare. Oh my god, he had way. so much sausage. Shaft of a broken spear, the eye of the the head of the spear was inside of the thing. That's good storytelling. Uh, cool. God, that's cool. And that puts us back on the uh, back on the good old path. Um, I think what I'm gonna do. Can I travel here? This puts us really close. Excellent. We've basically uncovered this whole area of the map now. Look at this. There's like really nothing, uh, really nothing left that's, uh, that's dark in this area. Maybe some things, but let's go back. Time to go see Halson, the Druids, and Zevlor. Zevlor was uh, not quite, yeah, yeah, he's right at the front. Can we get in? Oh yeah, there you go. Thank you. Right. Uh, yes, we did it. Zevlor, my tell 
Lord's virtue. The Blade of Frontiers? What's happened, Will? I paid the price of angering the wrong devil. Believe me, I understand better than most. A moment passes as Sevlor contemplates Will's words. He then turns his attentions to you. A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. I took you a should. collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Keep it. Very good of you. Thank you. Halsin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Korga. Uh-huh. As for us. I no believe. armies at our heels. Safely? Amazing. Mission we can success. Finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. Aw. That's I'm into that, yeah. We'll see you there. Folk hero, guardian of the forgotten, will got inspiration. Plus some XP. We're knocking out quests. Let's go. Halson is waiting to talk to us, I'm sure. <sighs> okay. Um, time to have some fun. I think we're going to party tonight at the, uh, at the camp. I love how they use the camp in this game. Oh, my God. Is the strange ox still here? Where's the third ox? The younglings are a nuisance. But the road would not be the same without them. Thank you. Let us go! I wish to feel the road beneath my hooves. Taste the fresh grass. Did you have a third ox with you? No? Damn it. All right. Uh, okay. Tieflings are like ready to go. Um, so who should we talk to here? Heldrell didn't want us, and those druids sure as hell didn't either. But you, you risked your life for us. Well, I got paid pretty well in terms of loot um, and adventure as well. Gods. Seems we might actually make it to the city now. Hope the neighbors are a bit more welcoming. I also hope you have a more welcoming. I knew this would come right arrival. if we just stayed positive. Not that your blade didn't help too. <laughs> this is fun. Mattis, I remember you. I'm glad you didn't die. No discounts once I'm running the wider Boulder's Gate, mind. Mm-hmm. Was Melly the other one? Who's the other one? Is it Melly? I'm your Lubbox. Don't know why everyone's cheering. Oh, We're no. just going back on the road. <laughs> Alright. Um back down here. Tilsis, I don't remember if we've talked to you. I'm just kinda getting a feel for the That's crowd it. right now. We can head to the city. Don't know about you, but I'm ready to start my life again. Yeah. I don't know that we'll we talk to everyone, but... Now we just need to get to Baldur's Gate. It's amazing how full this game is of voice acting. It's really cool. One sorrow ended, the next soon to begin. I like your attitude, bud. Just kidding. Make the coin for a proper ox? What do you mean? We couldn't have held them back on our own. Thank you. Are you turning into an ox? Back to worrying about road rations it is. So many mouths to feed, but, well, that's not a bad problem to have. Thank you, truly. They were talking about something. Makes me feel like, what's the deal over here? <laughs> Imagine I turn down their reward and then I steal, for, steal from their chest. I was thinking maybe they uh, today. Tomorrow, perhaps, but not today. had Thanks somebody to like wild shape into an ox to help pull their things, but I mean, they aren't the druids. They're 
bold as gates. We're coming. Arabella. Sounds good. All right. Um. All right. What now? What about the rest of you? I nearly dispatched those goblins myself, but it <laughs> seems you managed well enough. And why wield a masterwork where a butcher's blade will do? My thanks, truly. Get me the hell out of here. All right, cool. Um, there's this thing earlier I was looking at earlier. There's this marker over here. What is this? Oh, it's this. Did I go through this? I don't think so. Maybe I did. Secluded chamber? Nope. In here. I hope it's not trapped. Little nervous it's trapped. The devil you know in an autobiography. Have you ever had a god change your blood? It's a horrifying thing, even the, for those who may desire it. You tieflings wished for Asmodeus to claim their bodies, only to be given no choice in the matter. It is not as if we were well loved before the archdevil's gambit. Our people have always struggled against the notion of devilkin as if a single drop of infernal ichor inescapably corrupts. How amusing when so many others willingly sell their souls to fiends, yet their culture as a whole escapes the blame. By what method can we redeem ourselves when the crime is not ours? I would drive a blade into every warlock that aided Asmodeus's damned ritual. Personal vengeance cannot undo the will of a god, much less one as slippery as the Lord of Lies. When every passerby thinks you a thief and a heretic, it is deeply tempting to become one. The only thing that has stopped me is knowing Asmodeus wants nothing more than for all of us to fall from grace. What am I looking at here? Whose? Risen Road, Traveler's Gate to Baldur's Gate, Invasion Plans for Eltergard. Eltergard. A lot of territory to cover before Baldur's Gate. And any cure found there. Precious ink marks, pictographs of goblins and gnolls shown gathering in the forest and hills nearby. A thespian's memoir. An actor devil? The greatest joy of my life hasn't been acting. Like, like, I'm, I'm running through my head. Not that the same person wrote these two novels, but like, the same person is interested enough in having both of these books. Actor, war plans, Devil philosopher, basically. Greatest joy of my life hasn't been acting, but becoming. When you choose a character to play, you don't just wear a mask. You take a little of their soul for your own. Whoever you are in your heart of hearts changes, if only by the faintest moat. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, who is my best dex? It is... Uh, Marcus. Can't keep me out. Get a little guidance. Let's go. Battle worn blade. Okay. I'm not even going to take anything. I'm just interested in what would be in there if there would be a note. An excerpt from the ongoing Metatext Rebound by Josefa Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denier for her herit uh, heretical efforts to reconstruct the Metatext, her God's Annal of Lost and Hidden Knowledge. But perhaps greater still than their monopoly is the continent's, continent's largest private army. The true achievement of the modern Zinterim is the sanitized image they present to the world, viewed by most as an efficient, if unscrupulous, mercenary organization. You would guess at the Black Network's dark origin as a cult dedicated to the dark god Bane, once bent towards bringing all people to heal beneath his creed. Many among their ranks scoff when confronted with this fact, citing overblown conspiracies, reassuring me the only gods to whom the Zinterim give worship today are the twin deities of profit and power. So this is about a secret Black Network, a secret organization. This is not to say the organization has entirely shed its dark side, Another hand works from the shadows to ensure that the network prospers. 
Hmm. <clears throat> what's going on? Oh, there's more. Like, what the fuck's going on over here? <laughs> Shattered wine barrel. Where's this go? Eagle statue. A, a camp up top with like nothing going on just a huh weird might be more over here okay I'm gonna go to you house and in a second there's a heavy chest but first who lived here who lived in this door 41 gold okay let's just go ahead and uh, fast travel into never mind I can't really um can I get down all right we'll just go the manual way <laughs> let's get out of here um let's go chat to house see what's going on with Kaga as well. I'm sure something's going on. I'm sure something's going on. It's amazing to be back here. It's been so long since I was the player playing in this area. Uh, oh God, I don't, I don't know that when I was in this area that I knew what I was doing at all. Like, I wonder if I hit alt as I ran around, like I, you know, to see these items. Uh, I don't know. I don't really feel like I need to loot everything because we're really pretty well. Uh, we're rich, honestly. I mean, that's just the truth of the matter. Um, weird without everyone here. Oh my god, I do have to tell you. Damn it, incredible. I do have to tell you. Um, I did come back here with Megan during our co-op playthrough that we're just doing on our own time. We're not very far into the game at all, but we did make it to the Druid's Grove. And she's sleeping, so I can tell you the secret. Uh, she can't hear me. I do know who sits right here. And I, I don't think I encountered them my first time. <laughs> After we encountered Auntie Etel. In this, in this playthrough, like that night, the day after, I don't know if I've told this story already uh, on camera, but the day after we came into the Druid's Grove and there was Auntie Ethel selling like potions and stuff. And I was like, oh no. And I was like, zip the lip. Oh, interesting. Who's that? <laughs> uh. All right, let's talk to Damon. Maybe you can help Carlac. I thought I sensed an inferno around here. But you aren't from Elderell. What's your I hope, story? I hope Megan finds the whole story. The Enlisted against With my Auntie will Ethel. by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elderell. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And... You brought some infernal machinery with you. A little gift from Zariel. Keeps me burning hot. Keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out a piston ring or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Are you flirting? Be my guest. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. You really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. I might be able to help. 
I need infernal iron. I think I have some of that. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Ernest. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. <laughs> I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. This game is so horny. I love that hey, they're soldier. like... I think we picked up some of that infernal iron already. What say you? Should I give it to him? You should. Um, I love that the quest for Carlac it's going to turn out is let her touch people. And you better believe the minute you do that, there's going to be a chance to... <laughs> Oh, I mean, there'll be, you know, the option to romance. Uh, absolutely. Please let this work. Mm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. Open heart surgery on yourself? Oh my god, they're not going to show it, of course, but. Listen to that sound. That feels. Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less. Changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. <laughs> and as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way. Hmm? Hell yeah, we knew infernal iron would be helpful. Great, fantastic news. I forgot that we met you. Uh, hold up. Can I just have any of this stuff? Can we uh, you sell? saved us. I wasn't sure we'd make it through. Can we trade. I mean, I wish I had better, but this is all I have. What's what is your opinion of me gonna go up? Because uh. No? Your attitude is zero, even though I saved your whole people? That feels a little bullshit. Um, <clears throat> Safeguard shield is plus two. Cool. That's what I have currently. Um, <clears throat> There's some exciting armor here. Uncommon light armor and rare light armor. AC would bump up to 13 if I could use this but I would lose my temporary hit points. However, I like that idea. Um, the next question is gonna be, can I get anything better than this sword? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Mm, probably not. Not here anyways. It's a short sword. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and trade you for that. And to do that, I think I might get rid of a couple of options here. A couple of, of things. Uh, can get rid of this dagger. Speedy reply. Oh my god, we should give this freaking blade to, uh, Carlac. Holy shit. Um, 
Boots of Striding. What's the least? Useful thing here. What is Saluna's dream again? Hmm. Yeah, I'll get rid of that one. I have way too many boots. Mm, boots of genial striding, unimpeded by difficult terrain. This throw attack one I will never use. The text dots in that one I want to keep. All right, cool. Let's barter. Let's take. Oh lord, hello. Let's take off the blazer of benevolence and put on the. Uh, Wait, where did it just go? Right here. 18 AC, baby. Look at us. Awesome. All right. Uh, armor here. Chain shirt plus two. Rare medium armor. Chain shirt plus two. Same thing. Uh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, is there anything else I want to sell here? Probably not. I think I'm good. Uh, what do we have for Will? Uncommon light armor, which is a plus one. Is the same? Did I just sell an uncommon? I just bought an uncommon light armor, right? Um, okay, well. Uh, nothing great there. You should get some boots and a helmet, though, at some point. But I can sell a bunch of items here. Oh my god, we got too much shit in my inventory. Spoons? Alright, sweet. We're gonna do this. Hyena here I can even get rid of. Smoke powder satchel. All right, from here to here. No? My control? Nope. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess we're just going to click all of these things individually. We're about to make a bunch of money. Um... I don't think we need any of this shit. Do we not have a ranged weapon on you? Never mind. You should at least have a ranged weapon on you. Um, and we could even make it a good one. Like a heavy crossbow. Not proficient. Not proficient with that either. Can I get you a short bow? You are proficient in short bows. So we'll sell that. Or we'll buy that. Not that you'll ever use it, because you'll always be uh, uh, Eldritch Blasting anyways, but it's just nice to have it. Uh, get this insane inventory out of here. <laughs> Barter, chuck this on you. You have Everseeing Eye on right now. You can also do Animal Friendship. Oakfather's Embrace is a medium piece of armor we can sell. Lord of Justice. is a great sword um, that I think we will sell as well. Oh my god, did I not... Oh, I don't think I... I don't think I bartered. Oh lord. Whatever. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Now, what about Karlak? Now, for science, there is one thing I haven't done yet. Okay. Uh, just for science uh, reasons. Uh, the Susser Greatsword, great. It does a lot of damage. We got a light crossbow. It's a heavy crossbow. She's proficient with it, so let's go ahead and buy one. Um, we have a Moondrop Pendant. Uh, we could get you a helmet and some gloves, potentially. Oh, 
Oh, there's always there's this thing which is interesting. I forgot. You can like double click on a slot and uh sell your gloves and your boots for now. And we'll get you something here in a second. Then comes the question, can you wear armor? I don't remember how it works with the uh, barbarians. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh Lord, this was not my plan for today. But man, it's really fun to do this shit. Uh, it was not my plan to do this today, but here we are. Um, let's go ahead and sort by type. Let's get Carlac just absolutely kitted out. Rare chooses to end their rage to gain 15 hip temporary hit points. I don't think we'll do that very often, but we might. Uh, let's just make uh, Carlac unimpeded by difficult terrain. That sounds perfect. Um... When you dash, you gain wrath. For two turns, I think that's fine. They would kind of fit the uh, the boots we have on. Um, here's the next thing. I can give you a ring, but I don't remember who's got all my rings. I think it's probably uh, Asterian. Maybe Lizel. Um Here's the next thing. Do I just give Shadowheart, the uh, Dark Justice here mask. I think I should. Hell yeah. Wear it. Uh, hide helmet. Um, hide your leather helmet. It's not a helmet made of hide. It's a, a, a helmet that we are hiding. Okay. Um, so here's the question on my mind. Barbarians. Can they wear? Exactly. Unarmored defense. Your body is resilient as any armor. While not wearing armor, you add your con modifier to your AC, which is plus two. Um, so, like, your AC is a plus two item anyways. I don't know what your... what it would be like for you to wear heavy armor, but, like... You know, um, it probably would be worse than what you're wearing right now. And I might be wrong about that, but I'm going to leave it at that for now, I think. Harlack wants to chat, okay? How you feeling? Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Do you want a hug? Is that what's going on? Find some evil for you to smack then. Bring it on. We'll get you more iron later. Okay, uh, let's go towards the grove. Remember when we killed someone in there? Um, that went bad. This door is locked. Okay, well. Um, God, this place is so empty. Strange Ox? It's my favorite character. Seems like a good moment. Why aren't you going with the tieflings? Or the, uh... Moo. Yeah. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> I've already done this, right? No. What's the necklace that I had Will have, though? Animal Friendship. That just convinces it not to attack you. Intelligence of three or less. Okay. I don't have a uh, Speak with Animals cast. I do now. Move. Same shit? Talk to me, motherfucker. Talk to me. Move. What happens if you take a point of damage? Uh, let's find out. Oh my god, I need to use short Song of Rest. I literally always forget about it. Um.
strange ox. What's your deal, buddy? You're off balance. I'm gonna have Will cast. This uh, is my time. Did I just cast friends on Will? That was not what I meant to do. <laughs> Wait, what? I and then I used my action to put that on. Damn it. Okay. Well, this is fun. Still breathing. Despite Listen, I'm gonna everything. end my turn. In my turn. In my turn. In my turn. Do not react. Nobody hurts you. Okay. Now, Will. This is my time. What is this thing? I'm just so curious about you. Animal friendship. Immune to charmed? No choice but to keep going. Passives. Toggle on this. Shapeshifter's Boon Ring. While shapeshifting or disguising yourself, gain a plus D4 bonus to all checks. Wait a second, did you die, die? You're dead, dead. Oh, shit. I wanted to know what the mystery was. I didn't want to kill you. I thought we toggled on non lethal damage. Can I heal you? Well, if not only, damn it. Then through. I got wrecked too. I got absolutely wrecked. Um, in the comments below, if you want to tell me what the deal is with the strange ox, I'm too curious. I'm too curious. I'd like to know. Shapeshift. I mean, it's a shapeshifter, but like, is there a story there? Is it possible to make it so that you can uh, figure out what's going on? Who they are? Can you talk to them? Can you bring them out of their shapeshift? All right, Kaga. All right, Halson. Hi, friends. Now, now, no need to fight. Uh, uh, there's plenty of me to go around. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. Oh, Kaga's in trouble. I owe you nothing. Goblins swarmed us like roaches while you stumbled after the past. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Daddy House is about to rip you in half. The right has been ended. I will allow you to stay, but consider yourself a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, our place in the natural order. You shall learn it all once again right here. Backslide, and nature's fury will crush you. As you wish, Master Helsin. Oh, she is pissed. Oh, wow. That's all? She tried to imprison a child? <laughs> You'll have your hands full. She shows great spirit. Um, you're going to have your hands full. She shows great insolence. Yeah. But time will humble her. I'm nervous she's going to assassinate you. The still needs her. Does it? You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. What about my problem? I need help. Tomorrow morning, we shall discuss what is to come. Oh, they're upset. Um, interesting. I expected a much bigger conversation. Uh, talk to Zevlor. House and think to said Wrath would reward us. Why Zel? That's a bug, right? Talk to Zevlor. Answers are at moonrise. We're celebrating tonight either way. I understand. Okay. We can still talk to animals, right? So. Uh, 
I thought you were housey. The boar prances around, haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. You trying to hump something or? Yes, housey. Yeah. Promise I forgot me, about that. Right over there. Talk to him. Things look much better here. I'll tell you that much. Idol of Sylvanas. Oh, he an old dude. Old dude with some antlers. All right. Um. Well. Where do you think Wrath is? Let's talk to Zevlor. Is this where we walked Earth that one time? No, I didn't go over here. Oh my god, there's lots of shit over here too. Wait. There's someone over here? Who are you, Magrin? His leaves to shade you. His branches to point your path. His shelter to protect you. Thank you. Sure, thanks. Okay. Um, I guess we'll talk to House in here in a little, or uh, Wrath here in a second. Um, what's down here? I'm just gonna quickly run around a little bit. Oh my God, can you hop across those? Oh my God, you definitely can. What good will it do, though? Like, what a... <laughs> that sounds so cynical, but, like, what is what does it gain you? God, this is my favorite song that they play. Uh, everybody turn around. No, no, you're crowding me. You're crowding me. Loot, tell you that much. That's probably it. Yeah. Uh, send that to who? Will? Is that right? Is Will our extras or is that Carlac? Carlac's our extras. Um, all right. Well. Why do I do this? I always get myself into this situation. Now I have to run all the way back. Holy shit, it's been an hour. How is this possible? Well, we did sort inventories a bunch. I guess that's going to be the death of me. Ooh, there's kind of creepy music down here. Decluded Cove. <gasps> nope. No! I saw it literally at the wrong second. Last second. Fuck. <sighs> I was like, secluded cove. That sounds less... Uh, that sounds so, like, almost positive. There's harpies. What the fuck? Okay. What's a harpy? Multi-attack if the target is lured. I mean, I know enough about harpies to know what that is. Or the suggestion of that, at least. There's a dead person there. Okay. Oh, damn it. All right. Harpies are going to have to be the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. I have to end the episode there. Uh, we're back to Halston. So, I mean, lots of developments, I'm sure, in the next episode when we rest or when we party tonight. But um, we're back. We made it. We made it. Finally, we have returned to the Druid's Grove only 35 episodes later. Uh, really quickly before we end this episode, I wanted to give a shout out to Graftreon guy, Graftreon guy, uh, who is our most recent Patreon supporter. Um, Graftreon guy, thank you so uh, so much for the support over on Patreon. It means the world to me and keeps the lights on in the studio. So, thank you. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode. Until then, have a great rest of your day. And tomorrow we'll kill some harpies. Uh, see ya.